For those of us who aren't an average size or average shape, gun fit is pretty important. And ever since the Prestige video, I'm buying a William Powell Prestige as my new game gun. We had a heap of people ask, what does their gun fitting process look like, as it's all done in England and then made to measurements in Italy. This gun is the daddy. This is my mate Andy, who is buying a sovereign from William Powell. And who convinced me to follow him through the process. We had a lot of fun along the way, and I got to have a go with a brand new model of shotgun. Pheasants are funny things, aren't they? They're quite exciting. Under some lovely Oxfordshire pheasants. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you enjoy this journey across the south of England. For Andy's search of a gun that actually fits him. I don't think I've shot that well for the last 10 years. This is just a one-off for the camera. <laughs> Our journey starts in Banbury at the William Powell headquarters. Upstairs in their gun room, run by another good friend of mine, Mr. Peachy. A sovereign, Andy. Instead of a prestige. I shoot a range of game, lots of walked up, shot with a side by side since I was 18, have an over and under, but just love the way they handle. I mean, that's totally fair enough. You're just <clears throat> more of an adult than I am. <laughs> more of a gentleman, perhaps a little older. Can I customize this at all? Definitely. The customization options are pretty limitless, so from engraving, barrel lengths, choking, gun fit. The Sovereign includes the gun fit price in it. Um, so something that we do pretty much with all of our guns off the shelf is get them fitted or down the bespoke route as well. So when you say fitted, that's either in this country or can you get custom stocks made? And is that in the price too? No, so custom stock isn't included in the price of the Sovereign, but we will do all of our gun fits here in the UK just because we've got a refined process that we're really happy with. Um, customers love it, we enjoy it. It's very easy, very local to us. Um, and as much as you're having a gun fit with us, you're mostly having a lesson as well. So it's sort of two birds with one stone. You're, from your you're clarifying that the guy buying the gun can actually shoot it yes before exactly that. This gun sucks. exactly that okay makes so, sense yeah that's and that's what it's all about it's having a gun that's going to last you for an awfully long time that you're going to enjoy shooting that's what it's all about at the end of the day and he headed off while i stayed with tom to haggle over the price of a new toy that i <clears throat> definitely didn't buy a few weeks passed and we headed to the playground for andy's gun fit Side-by-sides aren't that common anymore, and as such, gun fits on side-by-sides aren't that common either. So I was just as interested as you to see how it was done. This is Tom, one of William Powell's gun fitters. Andy, good to meet you. How you doing? Gun fit doesn't suddenly transform your shooting. What it can do is it can give you the edge if you are able and consistent, can mount the gun consistently, basically 90% all the time. You have to be as consistent as you can be with your style and technique in order for gun fit to truly help you. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to the traps, we're gonna have a shot. You get used to me being about, I get then a chance to see what you do and why you do it. I'm looking for consistency in what you do with regards to your style and technique. It gives you a chance to actually have a go with the Sovereign as well. Maybe iron out any issues or gun mounting problems that you may have. And then we'll move forward using the tri gun to give you a set of measurements and I'll explain the process as we go through. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a springing tail is a classic, brilliant gun mounting exercise. It's like my moving pattern plate. Okay, so what I'm technically looking for is the impact on the bird, but it also is something that you can actually shoot comfortably. You know, treat it like it's the back of a pheasant. You're driving your gun into the back of the pheasant. We'll shoot a pattern plate today, but the problem with pattern plates is they're a stationary target. A lot of people do not shoot pattern plates properly. When your body sets up for recoil, shooting a stationary object, you'll get a natural pull down and across or across and up. Because of that, the pattern plates, yes, they are important to a degree, but you have to shoot it properly. This is a fantastic pattern plate because in order for you to get the correct impact on the bird, the gun has got to shoot where you look. Nice stance. Okay, okay you hold a nice front hand. On the side by side, your hands decide to be just held forward of the, uh, the forend, okay. which opens you up. When shooting a side by side, it's controlled instinctive shooting. This forehead is not to be designed to be held. It sort of clenches you up. You've got to open yourself up. Okay. However, your grip is very, very important. You're creeping your hand right up the top here. Yeah. Okay. On your first shot, when you set yourself up, it's great, but you're still sort of reaching yeah. right up to the back of the trigger guard. Yeah. You then lock your thumb over. 
On your second shot, you leave your thumb hanging here. Yeah. Now what happens is it actually causes a break in the wrist. Mm -hmm. Now when it causes a break in the wrist, that causes that elbow to come up. Okay. That's why you overmount the gun slightly. But the main thing is from a technique point of view, is by leaving that there, can you see that break in my wrist? Yep. Uh, okay. Kink. Yeah. Okay. That causes that to come up, which is why you overmount the gun ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. If you seat that correctly, okay, this is now straight. Mm -hmm. So then both hands work together to drive the gun up to the bird. Feel different? Yeah. Quite a nice feeling, isn't it? All good. But do you see how naturally yeah, the gun fun. then stays with you? Yeah, yeah. Now, I will put on your length measurement, which we may fine tune as we go. Then we've got a cast measurement. Now, because of the way you stand, you hold your shoulders quite nicely because you're standing correctly. Yes, you are fairly big around here, which we will take into account, but that's your toe uh, measurement, okay, for your cast. But so you're not gonna need a weird wacky cast measurement. Obviously it's also affected by thickness of combs as well. So what would you say is the most important measurement? Where your face sits. Where your, where, yeah. your eye, where your eye sits effectively. You can shoot with a gun that's too short, you can shoot with a gun that's too long. You can shoot with a gun that's got too much cast, not enough cast. But if you cannot see what you're shooting at, yeah. you've had it. A lot of people try and see this completely flat, just the bead at the end. Well, especially when you're shooting with two eyes open. Actually, what you're doing is you're covering half your eye. You're actually looking to the back of the top lever. So when you see guys who've got bumped jaws and all that sort of thing on a day shooting, it's normally because during the shot, they can't see, so instinctively you're going to lift your head up. When you lift your head, that's where the gun gets you. Okay. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the blue of your eye, blue or brown of your eye, sitting perfectly level at muzzle end, yeah. if gun's mounted correct. So just stay there for me. Now stay locked in and come down to my eye. Perfect. Okay, how does that feel? Very good. This is comfortable here. It's not too crammed up. Lots of people get infatuated by here, obsessed with this gap here. There's lots of other things to look at. I want a nice, comfortable arm. This mustn't be cramped. It's got to be seated correctly here. This has to look comfortable, and he's standing nice. Minor movements at this end, and massive at that end. Yeah. Try and shoot it as naturally and instinctively as you can. Pattern plates are not easy things to shoot. I don't take them as gospel when it comes to gun fit. The reason being, when we shoot a pattern plate, everybody sets themselves up for recoil. As an all-round game shot, I want you set up 60-40. If you're very, very good at, look, good at looking at the bird, especially with two eyes open, set you up 70-30. Never 50-50, okay, because otherwise you'll be chopping anything's legs off. Okay. okay. Okay, so what we're looking for, so you can see on the pattern plate, I've set you up so as an all-round game shot shooting 60-40. You've actually shot it quite well. A lot of guys actually really, really struggle. So you can, it, they can really give a false impression of where a gun shoots. At the end of the day, with the gun mounted correctly, what I'm seeing at the far end is absolutely key. Um, but you're passed. It's the, first one, it's the first one you've hit today. <laughs> well, you've got to hit one. No, very good, very Excellent. good. Um, and we'll pop in, we'll measure that, and then uh, discuss, the, discuss the measurement. Fantastic. Okay, so just for the camera's point of view, you can see he's perfectly centre. Okay, I can see the blue of his eye sitting level with the breech, dead centre and right breech. So Andy, we've ironed out a couple of minor things, but those minor things can be major things actually coming forward to your, the shooting season, your days coming up. We've got your set of measurements, they'll be going off to Gunsmith for your, hopefully, gun that's on its way soon. I hope you're looking forward to that. No, really enjoyed it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah. Because I have a young family, seeing friends spontaneously doesn't really happen. So Andy, Tom and I planned ahead and booked a day on Peg Together at the beautiful Monjuel Estate. Come on, mate, let's have a look. Are you happy with it? Getting on really well. Mate, it's just come out really nice, actually. Mate, those initials came out really well. Yeah, really tough. It was an optional or extra I discussed with Tom. Wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it matches that engraving perfectly. I like it, mate. Yeah, no. How are you shooting, mate? You've had it a few months. And off. Some walked up days on some driven. Um... Oh! His life just became and better. It, and it works. But it's interesting how quick you go back to a double trigger. I know some people who say, you just can't use one, it's weird, but it's very second nature once you've used yeah. one enough just to click back I'll into the roll. Oh, I mean, we've just proved that gunfit really matters because I can't shoot that at all. 
which is interesting because we all know that every gun comes off the shelf with a standard spec from a shop and it's designed so that we can all get around it. Yep. That is very much yours. And it's very much yours because you could shoot it quite well too. Interesting, isn't it? I mean, you do a little bit of shooting yourself. Yeah, touch. Clearly, it's compatible with me and you have to work around it. Or, or not as the case yeah. may be. People, it's your first fitted stock, right? First fitted stock, really enjoyed the experience. A lot of people talk about getting used to a gun. It takes time to get used to a gun. To be fair, out of the box, I've enjoyed Wait, this a lot. You didn't shoot that well with your over and under? I don't think I've shot that well for the last 10 years. So this is just a one-off for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> with the confidence that that spec to me and that the process we've been through to get there, come here and just focus on what I'm doing. It just works. I left Andy alone to go and stand a drive by myself with the newly released Princeps over and under. Right, now this is a spot. Spectacular drive, isn't it? Uh, you might have noticed nice. that this isn't Andrew. We've peeled off and we've got our own peg. We're gonna do some damage. We've got a significantly cooler and more modern prototype. No, this is our demo gun. This is a demo gun. So used and abused, well tested, being used by clients as we speak. Brand new within the last two months, yeah. This is a Princeps. It is indeed. So can I say that I was disappointed? No. Because you're doing a Boss 4 end option. We are. And I think that could be one of the most beautiful yes, additions to any it gun. Will be. And we're due to have that in and ready in the very near future. I'm generally not a fan of scroll in a lot of ways because a lot of people go too fine. It's basically if you took an English scroll and you took a Morocco, Morocco, <laughs> Morocco scroll and you slapped them together and made it, it's so beautiful. So we spent a lot of time with the engravers looking at different sizes and actually the original scroll for this gun was a lot tighter but we bought it out and in basically the same style but just enlarged it and basically just made it what it is and I think from a distance it stands out when you get up nice and close it, you can still pick out some nice Where it's hand chased, this is done in Potato as well, so it's to indeed, the highest standard. Yeah, exactly that. Nice gold inlays for the William Powell and the safe and so on and so forth. It's but just nice. It's just, yeah, nicely finished and uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. And this is on the same action as your other gun, so it's... So it's round bodied side plate. Okay. Um, so balances beautifully as, as you would expect for a game gun. Nice wooden stock, lots of options with it in terms of bespoke aspects. Comes with a lovely grip cap as standard. Bespoke stock included in the price. The price is 11 grand. 11,000 off the shelf. This gun is nice. It's like if you took a, an MK60, which is a great gun yeah. uh, in handling, but you put a palm swivel on it so it felt good and a slightly more universal foreign. Yeah. Tell you what, this whole glasses thing, as much as I like seeing well, in the rain, that's something that I didn't realise was a thing. I'll do most things for you, Johnny, but I'm not cleaning any glasses. Go on, just give him a buff. It just handles very nicely. The thing that we try to get as right with it as possible is the balance. Yeah. I think it balances really nicely. You get all the way in between your hands exactly where you want it. It's just, yeah, spot on. Very calculated. Yeah, yeah. But it's in the middle, so you can slow down or you can speed up. It's yeah. It's, well, we designed it to be sort of top of the range game gun and hopefully that's what it will be used as majority. Pheasants are funny things, aren't they? They're yeah, quite exciting. Trees are broken. Shot. Just good quality pheasant shooting. Yeah. Right, what, what do you want? With Got a nice a, new gun. Lovely gun. Good company. Nice cartridges. Happy days. Best cameraman I've ever met. Wow, I say that. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. 45 yards? Easily, easily. Maybe I would say that at the top of those trees probably 55. where we are, definitely. But steel has come on so far. I like it. I'm a big fan. And I think if you get the right cartridge, they're as good as most people ever need. Again, okay, you're in the trade. I am in the trade by proxy, I suppose. I think we were all early adopters of the concept. If you come into yeah. an arena like this, where the average age is a little older. Yeah. Um, respectfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and absolutely. perhaps that they're not addicted to guns like you and I are. No. 
but, as part of the I, Cosme fan club. <laughs> <laughs> but I think most of them have been very pleasantly surprised of what you and, and Andrew have both killed with steel today. I think there was a few shocked comments when Andrew said yeah, he was steel. They'll do everything that most people need them to do. Last time you were seen Tom would have been in the Prestige video, which was full of comments about having a man load for me. I think it's just a very British thing to load for a mate and just enjoy this time on Poke Together. It's, well, that's it. It's, it's no uh, airs and graces about it. We're just having fun. This is a community sport. 100%. So, I mean, most people don't even shoot because they enjoy shooting. They just go for a social aspect. Which is it. Out of, there's eight people here shooting, four or five other people in the line, 15 beaters. We all go and have some food. We've had Levenses. We're going to have some dinner afterwards, have a good chat, and, uh, and then, yeah, push away for Christmas. And it's a nice way to end the, end the year and, and then start into the next year at the beginning of the season of 2023. I think that's lovely. Good. I'm glad you like it. Shot well with it. Shot some nice birds. It took me a while to get it, unsurprisingly. I've been shooting a side by side this morning, so I'm not. I mean, not the gonna shooting was well on that team with that side by side. It took me a while to get it, mate. It's very controlled for yeah. how it feels. It feels like you just want to punk through, through stuff, but it yeah. is. It shoots more like the Prestige than I thought it would. Which has got to be a good thing. I mean, <laughs> top marks. I. I'm a fan of Montjuel. We've walked like a kilometre to get there. It's very sociable. Sociable. It's like Keep, the olden days. Keeps you awake. You see everything. Not that there's anything bad about getting in cars, but and I like a gun bus, but it's kind of nice just to walk and talk mm. and meet people and spend yeah. more time community. Mate, you were in Hebrides yep. a few weeks ago. How was that? Walked up snipe, some geese thrown in. With that? With this. Yeah, yeah, very different to obviously what we're doing today. Never seen so many snipe. Wonderful place, wonderful privilege to be there. So yeah, flitting between snipe and grey lags. And in Scotland, there's no impetus to shoot steel at those animals over dry land. We're a team of six. Three of us are shooting steel because we can and actually we want to give it a fair crack. To be honest, with a snipe, if you hit it with a pellet. It's, you've you've it's, done a fairly good number. Hitting is the challenge. Gonna try, try and actually shoot something with this. No, you can keep this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can definitely keep that. That is your gun. You know how you're talking about you don't feel it and it doesn't kick or any of this kind of thing? It's uh, ringing true, is it? I'm feeling the fact that it's built for you. <laughs> Oh, what a way to finish. Mate, that was a drive. And that gun suits you very well. Thank you. And nobody yeah. else, as every gun should. <laughs> well, that's the ideal thing. No one will want to put it in their car and try it themselves. So what is the difference for you? For me? The stock length can't be too bad. I mean, or, if you think we're the same height, I think you might have to- standing in a hole. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, I'm looking about there. The height's fine, the length I could handle just like completely like a cast. It is fascinating. Clearly goes to show, I mean, we're obviously very different in build and height. Yeah, same, same and, level of handsome. And you do plenty of shooting, so clearly that doesn't come up as you would expect it to. Gun fit matters? What? <laughs> but you should be really proud of how you shoot that. Thanks. It's, oh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And the pressure of you boys being on the peg doesn't help. But I mean, actually, clearly does, mate. Clearly <laughs> relax. You don't you like that the rest of the time? <laughs> really interesting process. Final I mean, it was result. about a year start to finish, right? Yeah, 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 start to finish. So, you know, you wonder whether it's all worth it, but actually, proof's in the pudding. The gun comes straight out of the trap or out of the drive. Really enjoyable. And we've got and a few. It's now your gun and no one else's. I thought, which is kind of nice. Very apparent today, isn't it? For you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go find my own gun. <laughs> That's it. Well, that was a great day at a beautiful estate. We sat around over lunch talking all things gun. Which, as you might have guessed, is one of my favourite things to do. It was also really interesting to watch Andy's gun come to life, although I still maintain he should have bought an over and under. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.